Hello and welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we're bringing you a gameplay of Untamed Feral Factions. We are playing with a Kickstarter edition fully finished copy. Like, yeah, this of is the original printing. Official original printing of this game. Mm -hmm. Kickstarter is going to be showing off not only these decks of cards, but also but some new decks of cards, yeah. some new mini expansions, just a whole lot of extra modularity into mm -hmm. what is already a, a game. Fairly modular. Well, that lives itself. off of its modularity, right? Mm -hmm. So having more decks is going to increase the possibilities that you have when mm -hmm. you're approaching this. So in this gameplay, our goal is to show off not only how the base game functions and runs, but also give you a sense of how it plays mm -hmm. so that you can determine for yourself if this is a game that you want to add to your collection. Yeah. And how many other decks of cards you want to bring home with you. Ideally all of them, The I correct guess. answer, all of them, yeah. especially, and here's what I'm advocating for. Quackalopes ducks? Where is a duck faction? I hope in the expansion. We has I, to be. I have so many animal-themed, adorable creature games that uh -huh. I love, and none of them so far have incorporated the regal duck. Mm, I guess, like, these are really menacing animals to a certain degree. Listen, Jan. Like, I don't know if a duck is intimidating enough. Oh, okay, that was intimidating. Good job. Good job. Set Good up support. what this game is, and then let's start playing. So this game is sort of like a deck mashup. The idea is that you're picking several packs of cards, you're mashing them all together, bringing them into a single deck, and then trying to play that through kind of something that feels a little bit similar to Magic, but at the same time is much more flexible in the similar, way that it generates power. Similar concepts to any of your card games that require some sort of resource to mm -hmm. summon, some sort of attack and defense to go head to head. Two of the core unique traits of this game are going to be the fact that your win condition is built around destroying the other player's strongholds, mm -hmm. which are each going to come uh, with unique o with their own unique abilities and be based off of the character deck you're bringing into mm -hmm. your team. And then finally, the other unique thing is going to be how those resources are spent and played in the deck. You either are going to have your core resource mm -hmm. just on the back of the card, which can be used and spent to perpetually generate you know, your cost, the little blue indicator up there in the top corner. And then the other element is a secondary type of resource or economy where every card that usually goes into your discard is going to go into something that are called your supporters. And some cards are going to allow you to spend supporters yep. instead of your power. Most of the on-card abilities are actually gonna be dealing with your supporter deck mm -hmm. instead of your main deck, your hand, or your resources. Mm -hmm. So you have two balances, you have the uh, resources that are giving you costs, that are allowing you to play cards. Mm -hmm. Then you also have what cards do you add to your supporter deck? How quickly do you let them cycle there? Because while they're there, they still have one last thing they can do for you. And then they're out of the game permanently. So, and all of this I think will make more sense as we're Once showing mm -hmm. the game off to you. And with that being said, Jan, you're on a losing streak, so we might as well Continue digging into uh, into that. Yeah, great, Jesse. I'll let you... I'm always losing. It's fine. It's listen, fine. It's listen, okay. Man. Listen. I'm I have I'm a changed man. I'm okay with losing. I lose often. It's fine. It's okay. It's here, nothing bad to admit. Yeah. Here available to us, we have the Forest Enclave, the White Fur Command, the Damascus uh, Dergbull, the Black Market, the Shallows, the uh, Gold Scale Temple. The Spirit Song Lodge, the Blackstone Vault mm -hmm. with the Panda Bears, and the Laboratory. What stronghold are you going to be selecting, and which animal faction are you bringing into your team? I'd be more interested to talk about the animal factions versus their strongholds, but I'm starting this off with some chameleonic properties here. Going are, with those, chameleons. are those chameleons? Yes. Interesting. Going with some chameleons. You know... While I respect you wanting to lean into the animal specifically, I myself am picking based off of the stronghold that I'm going to be pulling, and I'm starting here with the shallows, which mm -hmm. is going to give me access to the rats. Okay, they're very they're pirates a bit basically here. Absolutely interesting. I'm next gonna go with our hares slash rabbits, or prob probably sure. hares. They're regal. They mm -hmm. look like uh, they look like they were like Union troops that were defending the homeland. Let's see here. I think, I think fitting with the uh, the shallows, we're going to mm -hmm. take the black market. It seems like that would be a common place to arrive, and this is going to be the foxes. 
Yeah, so I, I think I have a motif of kind of like established society type of it's factions true. here. It's true. I have so heard that about you. I'm going to go with the panda bears for the okay. last faction I have. Okay. I have one last I have one last group I've got to add mm. in, and that's going to be the raccoons here. Pretty sneaky of you. With the dark mask dirg bull. Hmm. Uh, these are going to be the people hiring and recruiting our pirates. Uh, to go deal and trade in the black market. They are creating the technology that is then being traded to the scum of the hmm, earth. Interesting. These three decks are going to be set off to the side. Okay. Uh, now, any of these could mix and match together. Let's go ahead and go through our stronghold abilities, mm -hmm. and we're going to stack them in order that we want to see them destroyed. So yeah. choose the, you know... Or the types of powers you want at different intervals in the game. Well, I... I just am letting you know that uh -huh. as your strongholds fall apart, okay. you should choose the order that they go in, you know, because you'll be able to use them all. Sure. <laughs> so over here with the shallows, I can pay one support, which is a little paw print there. Mm -hmm. Target animal with power cost of two or less gains one fury or move one fury from an animal to any other animal. Fury is very simple. It's a token that adds to their attack value. Right here. Yep. So my first one is going to be called the Blackstone Vault, and I have to pay three supporters to draw a card. Okay. I have the Black Market here. Pay two supporters. Give an animal plus one or minus one attack until the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. So similar to Fury, but it doesn't stay with them. So I'm already starting to see an issue with the cards that I selected, mm -hmm. but we'll find out later. The Laboratory Stronghold, for two, pa for two supporters, draw a card and then discard a card. Okay. So a little bit of overlap. Lastly here with the Dark Mask, uh, pay three supporters, give an animal plus two attack until the end of the turn. So here's how I'm stacking. Oof, Dark Mask powerful. is going on the back bottom. Black Market is going second. Shallows is going to go there at the top. Then finally for me, I have White Fur Command. Pay three to deal one damage to an animal or to a stronghold. So that's definitely going in the bottom. I would, oh, actually, let's do this instead. So it's gonna go in the top. Blackstone on the bottom, and then white fur right there in the middle. Okay. Uh, that is going to be our battle conditions. Let's go ahead and shuffle our decks together and deal out uh, first player. Yeah. One last time. So do you want first swing here, or do you want second? I'll be second. You'll be second? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw up eight cards. You're going to draw up nine cards, mm -hmm. and you're also going to get a bonus uh, card placed underneath your supporters there. Mm -hmm. That'll give you just a free resource um, when you need it. Okay, perfect. So. Okay, Jesse, so we're done shuffling. I draw nine cards and we are ready to get started. Okay, uh, and I'm starting out. Now, the first thing we're gonna have to determine and do is place one of our cards down into our supporter area. From our hand. From your hand, mm -hmm. yep. And let's go ahead and draw these cards over here with our keywords and our main phase. So on my main phase, I'm going to be able to play any number of cards as long as I can pay the cost. Uh, I'm going to be able to attack if I have any animals ready. The first mm. time you summon them in, unless they have a keyword called surge, they're not actually going to be ready, readily available. Uh, I then may perform each of these actions once. I could play a card from my hand face down as power, okay. which is the resource that you're spending. I could pay two power to draw one card, or I could use my stronghold ability. Uh, and then I'll move over into the upkeep phase. So I'm going to go ahead and so bang this down as power so that I have that to utilize. And then I've got to start trying to get some people out here. So I'm going to use that power to summon a Hollowtail Thug. This mm. is going to be an animal. When I arrive, I may pay two supporters to deal one damage to the target animal. If the target is defeated, draw a card. I'm not going to be able to utilize that, but I do have a little bit of defense and or protection there on the board. I don't like it. But I am tapped when I come in because I don't have the keyword surge. So I'm not going to be able to... Uh, engage immediately now at the end of my turn i will randomly uh i will ready all exhausted cards mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, i will draw two cards and i will play a card from my hand into my supporter area which is again basically a discard it, pile mm -hmm. taking it out of the game mm -hmm. but you know buffing my own ability there are factions that can bring back supporters but rarely we're, i don't think we're playing rarely. with them uh so beginning of my turn i am putting this down as a Oh, man, I'm putting that down as a power, and let's see. So the first thing we're doing is that we are playing down, by tapping that power, we're playing down the Shift Scale Chemist. Okay. 
Give another Animal Fury equal to the amount of other cards you have played this turn. Not really focused Not on that yet. at all. The guard ability is going to be more key for you. They are keeping me from attacking directly to your stronghold. I have to deal with your guard first. Yep. Uh, and that's uh, that's going to actually be it for my turn. That's going to wrap your turn up? Mm hmm Interesting. Mm. So I'm going to play a card down into this area over here. Um... And here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to pop a explosive barrel. Uh, uh, item, you may pay three instead of paying the card's power cost. I paid the power cost, so I paid two over here. Um, your opponent must deal three damage to animals they control divided as they wish. We're going to blow you up. Mm, well, that sucks. Okay. It's actually probably not the best utilization of that Sure. Card, you, you're still doing uh, two damage immediately. Not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm going to punch through, so we're going to directly attack your stronghold Ugh, there. I don't like that. That's uh, too fast. I'm, I'm not ready. two up, and I'm going to add another thing to my supporters here. Yeah, I'm not ready for, for so much. What we're going to do is that we're going to play this card down as... Mm, should we do that? Yeah. Sure. We're going to play this card down as power. Then we're going to go ahead and play this down. White for our artillery. You can imagine what that's going to do. I'm going to pay two supporters in order to deal one damage to an enemy animal. So out. And also to your stronghold. So one damage right back to you. Okay. And that's your arrive ability? Yep. Okay. And that's going to be it for my turn. So untap everything and then I'll draw two more cards. Don't love that. Mm -hmm. Gonna be honest. Um. All right, so one more down. I'm going to play. Uh, Mister Darkside Bruiser or Dockside Bruiser. Yeah, He's gonna like have him. a guard ability. He also has a last words ability. You may pay one to deal one damage to all animals when you destroy him. So mm -hmm. a little bit nasty. Uh, and so I spent two on him. I'm then going to spend a third on uh, uh, Enforcer Schematics. It's going to give him a power level plus two. So he's going to have a total of four attack this turn. I'm curious, why are you doing this? Because you can't use him this turn. Uh, you're right. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. That's terrifying, though. Never mind, I'm not using that. I am, <laughs> however, going to spend one of these... Uh, so this is going to my discard pile now instead of... Like the permanent, like, never gone, never gone. to be seen again. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that is going to allow me to give him one fury. Okay. Um, which isn't isn't too shabby. And I'm going to... Oh, I'm supposed to discard a card. Draw two. And uh, refresh everything. So. Yeah, I'm going to place this as a supporter. Okay. So back to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, I want to place this down. Don't want to do this right now. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. So, we are going to expend mm -hmm. our card to bring down our little friend here. Shift Scale Assassin. We're going to spend our supporter to tap your guy so he's exhausted. That's his special ability. Okay. Then we're playing three. You don't have to discard him. Hmm? Well, you discarded your Oh, resources. I'm sorry. <laughs> Force of habit. Uh, then we're playing three to bring down Expert Alchemist. Arrive, if you have played another card this turn, deal one damage to an animal and one damage to a stronghold. So that's one. Okay. And another one here. And then we are attacking with our artillery, bringing that over to four. Mm, and then okay. we start everything again interesting i don't i don't love it yeah i know right I'm gonna be honest and you exhausted Mm-hmm. so i'm gonna pop this down here it's gonna give me a total mana of four so this is coming onto the board oh you couldn't have attacked my oh i used this with alt artillery i exhausted him you couldn't have, you still has to have to deal with him you still have to fight him. That makes no sense. Exhausting him means I can't use him on my turn. You still have to fight him because he is guarding. 
he must be defeated before you can attack the stronghold. I still attack him. Okay, well, sure then. I'll attack him so that he's dead. You would kill him and I would kill you. Yep. Okay. And that doesn't go to your discard pile. Well, you know what? It goes to your supporter. Uh, I don't... So you won't be able to use him this turn, right? No. Nah, yeah, leave him there. Whenever you play an animal with power cost of two or less, deal one damage to a stronghold. Last words, play an animal with a power cost of two or less from your support area without paying its power oh, cost. Oh, see, that's what we were talking about, reviving people. Uh, that's unfortunate. And because you've, because you've put me in a tough position, I am going to pay one from my support to add a fury. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that there. And I'm going to draw two up and choose one to add to my supporter area. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. What, what are you gonna, gonna do, Jen? This is what we're gonna do. Tell me about it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do no, this. No, go ahead, tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. do it. I'm gonna play this. Okay. So we can tap for two. We're gonna activate Carrot Saber, deal two damage, so he is dead. And uh, if this defeats the target, give the next animal you play this turn one Fury and Surge. Luckily for you, I don't have an animal to play this turn. Um. But still, oh, actually, I'm gonna play two, so I can draw a card and then discard a card. Did you get what you needed? I didn't get the exact thing I want. I was very close, extremely close, I but not you. close enough. I hear what you're saying. Uh, oh, poo poo. Okay, well, there, there we go. Mm. I'll move. I'll move then that guy over there. See? Very close. Mm -hmm. And then we're attacking. So that's going to be... These two should be enough. So that's going to be five. Directly to your stronghold. So your stronghold goes boom. And then my final character is going to do one more damage. Now when that hits, I draw up. It is not. It's not, so it goes into A rally. Hand. So certain cards have a little banner in the edge. If that was a rally, I would immediately play it. Yep, for free. That's gonna be it for me. Everything comes back, all cards are untapped, and I'm gonna get blown away. Whenever you play an animal with power, cost two or less, you'll one day, ooh, I don't like him at all. So, you're gonna be added up here. We are going to start mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. You, for one, Okay, arrive. so that's one damage. You may pay two to deal one damage to a target animal. If the target animal is defeated, draw a card. Uh, nope. I don't actually want to do him first, then. So we're going to start with an explosive barrel oh. for two. So you're dealing three damage, however you... Among everyone? Yeah, among everyone. I'll do one, two, and one. It's kind of cheap, because you, you know <laughs> you know what my next card is. <laughs> well, did you... I know. Not my fault. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. So are you gonna are you gonna summon that that card or not? Yes, I will be. Okay, so that's one damage to my stronghold. Yeah, and I get to do a damage to another one of your Well you have to pay two supporters. Yeah. Which I've got so many supporters. You have to why do you always have so many? Everything goes into your supporter deck. I know, but I uh, so much. Okay, so who are you dealing that damage to? deal the damage here okay um i'm also going to be playing with my last last resource there uh target is going to gain plus two attack oh, this turn gosh so that's a total of oh my god yeah that's it you'll you'd take that card down with just a single i mean single actually attack. right now at four or five six seven i'd take it down without playing this card yeah yes you would um or you could target one of the guys out, out there so that I don't take you down next turn. Because I will. You either lose a stronghold, you either take one de one of my strongholds down, or you lose a stronghold next turn if you don't deal with my characters. Ah, let's take your stronghold down. Oh, whoa. Okay, bold move. Two up. Okay, so stronghold out. <laughs> and he comes in. You may pay two to give this... Uh, Fury and Surge. I don't. I don't need that because he's gonna come either way. Like he's untapped when I begin my turn. So mm -hmm. this is tapped. 
Oh, they untap at the end. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So you got everybody there. Uh, deal one damage to an enemy or to a stronghold. And let me... I should have paid one. Because I don't think I can do it on your turn. I was actually saving it to do it on your turn. Mm -hmm. Give an animal minus one or plus one attack till the end of turn. Okay. Um, so I'm giving... It's two, by the way. Pay two. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm doing that to give yours minus one attack. Okay. That sounds good. Good to me. Okay. Okay, so I have to pay a power cart now. Oh, actually, I think that was only effective on my turn. Oh, so you wouldn't want to it waste it. It would be it. if I was attacking you. Do you see what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I would do it. So I'm. So another thing that we never talked about is that you can only have up to five power cards. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play my fifth card now. I have mine fifth out already. Okay. But you can't. we can't go above that is what nope. I mean. So I'm first going to do this. I'm going to play one power card to activate Vile Concoction. Deal one damage to an animal. So that's dead. And then I'm going to pay two. So I can deal two to a different animal. So that's going to get two damage. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to play, I'm going to activate for three here so that I can summon up my Oromancer. Mm -hmm. And then I'm attacking everyone. Oh, well, you have two left. And I'll attack with my bunny over here. Wife or artillery is gonna, oh wait, what are your last words? Play an animal with power cost two or less from your support area without paying its power cost. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to summon any of these guys, you'll summon that guy, so I'm not gonna attack it. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a total of three, five, six, seven. Oh, actually I don't even, yeah. Okay, so we'll attack with all these and then we will leave the hair for the end. And one damage there. Let's use this. Wait, let me do my draw up. Nope. <laughs> okay. And that is it. I have absolutely no cards in hand. That sucks. I yeah. don't know how you have so many people out. It's ridiculous. You haven't, you haven't dealt with them. I haven't been able to. Mm-hmm. That's true. Being summoned. A go, uh, guard ability. Has guard. Give a friendly animal two fury. Mm. If I die. Mm-hmm. Um, so spend, that's cost one. Yep. Yeah, I'll spend this to give both of them one fury. And mm. I can get rid of three to exhaust two of yours. Okay, which one would you like to exhaust? I'm assuming this guy and this guy. Yeah, your biggest ones. Okay. <sighs> now here's the thing. If you attack, it dies immediately. But you'll be able to summon another guy. So you'll be able to have two guys with guard. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty good. Now you take one damage because I played that card out. Hmm? You I don't take understand. one damage because the ability. Oh, to the stronghold, mm -hmm. was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right. Okay. Let's see here. I can pay three plus this card. Well, if, I mean, I'm already at five. If I pay this, if I play this card, you don't have anything with guard, do you? You have him with guard. Yep. Oh, fooey. Mm-hmm. We both wipe. Yep. All right. I'm going to have to do it. Okay. Head to head, both wipe. And That's now you're off. able to summon a, a two, Just so you're going to bring in that guy. Goes there. No guard ability. Okay, no uh, arrive ability. No, Perfect. no arrive ability. Uh, drawing two. And actually, I only spent... I get to draw two from these, and now I'm drawing two and putting one into my pile. Because I only ever spent one mana. Sure. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and untap there. We're gonna attack with this guy with a big expert alchemy. He dies. This goes into my supporters. Then everybody's gonna get dealt one, including yours. No, not me. I think so. Uh all animals. Okay. Right? Maybe. And sure. you're de and you're you're spend I'm assuming you're spending one of your supporters to activate that. Um Well, it sucks because it'll it hurts mine, but sure. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Then we are going to play three to deal one damage to an animal, so that is dead. Mm. Mhm. Mm Oof. Okay. What a much? We don't have enough. 
we're close, but we don't have enough. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spend four. Four power to activate Blackstone Treasury. I draw two cards, and I could exhaust an, an animal. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to play down one more to place down that guy. Oh, I think I did win. So you have... No, not yet. So I do one, two, three, four, five. Five damage down to you. This guy has plus one attack during my turn. Mm. Okay, so you are one health away. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jesse. Gonna draw two cards. Anyone have guard? No, I don't have guard. This is I'm your shot. Pay one to pull this one down. I have Surge. Pay one for plus two attack. Oof. Pay two to have him with guard. Yeah. Don't Pay like it. Three. So you've done a total of one, two, three, four. So you have four power cards tapped. Okay. Pay three to activate the ability. So I'm now at two, four, six. Boom. Okay, so this is out. Mm -hmm. Okay, another power card out. Um, another stronghold card out. And nope, you're safe. And lastly, I'll play this. I draw two. Look at them. I did reveal an animal. Um, so I may put one fury mm -hmm. uh, on an animal. So we'll put a fury here. Okay. And I get to choose how I place these back down. So um, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, these are going to be the two that I have to draw up and then resolve after this anyway. Okay, your turn. Okay, so uh, I have all my power. I'm going to spend one of that power to activate Vile Concoction. So I deal one damage to this person. And I'm also going to pay two so that it deals two damage here. Why are you taking it out? I think you got it. Yeah, then I'll attack here and then boom. Man, how have I <laughs> lost to you in this? What do you mean how you lost to me? How I you beat me at every other game? I don't understand why I'm losing to you. <laughs> okay, that's insulting. No. First of all. No. That's insulting. You've, you've, I want to watch this footage back and see what's going on here. Because you had so many people out, like, destroying me. I don't know, like, the one thing we may have skipped is that this guy had a, a damage at some point, but I I'm mean, not sure. It I wouldn't mean, have really made that much were, of a difference. You, like, I didn't feel like I had control of this table at all. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what that to tell you. rough. The first time I ever played, the first time I ever played this, I did really good. Like, I won, but... It was in TTS, right? Yeah, it was in TTS. So, so for everybody that skipped over, this is this is our final thoughts. So, Jesse, what did you think of this in your set, your third playthrough so far? I like it. I think it's fun. I think mm -hmm. it pairs really well. I want to see more animal, you know, animal diversity and stuff when it comes to the way that you can chain and pair things together. Um, each of the factions do play pretty unique, but um, a game like this really is built. Um, and lives off of the amount of combinations that you can create. So I'm excited to see what type of variations they're going to have in the Kickstarter itself and how some of those variations are going to add different mechanics. I also want to play with some of the expansion uh, elements that we have here in this core box mm -hmm. um, with, with more powerful strongholds and more powerful Mythical animals. Abil mm -hmm. abilities. Um, but I like, I like what's here. I like the structure of it. It's, it's quick. It's accessible. It plays fast. Um, the only... You know, the only thing that I would say is there's there's a lot of back and forth, and there's been, like, in our two games, I've had less, like, big moments than I would like, necessarily. Mm -hmm. I think you've been able to get your stuff working better than I have, and I just don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're questioning how the heck I don't, did I lose to Jan I don't, I have no two idea. times. I have no idea. This is not normal. It's completely unreasonable. What's your sense of it? What's, what are your thoughts? What a, the fa my favorite thing about this particular game is the double the double resource ser um, mechanic where every single card that you have in your discard doesn't completely de get sure. discarded until there's a secondary use for it. I think that's super novel and, and fascinating. I okay. love it. 
Um, and I, I think I've seen it before where you're able to place down cards as some type of resource or, or mm -hmm. power, but it works well here, I would say. Um, in terms of the abilities, etc., I don't know, that, that feels a little bit more traditional. Like, these are definitely things I've seen. I mean, it's definitely, it's not... It's not changing the game, mm -hmm. but yeah. the resource, the resources, and how you use those resources in different stages is awesome. And also the idea, uh, it, like this reminds me of like Yu-Gi-Oh or something where you had your life points and they would be bringing down. And okay. usually it's like, oh no, I'm getting close to dying, and that's it. Here they're trying to give you some strategy to losing health, which I like because this is technically only 21 life points. Yes. Right. Yes. That's and, what and it is. is. But and your game is changing as you're cycling through them. I, I and do that's feel like I would well. like to see more powerful and unique and twisted abilities. And maybe some of the expansion content that we have will bring that in. But I want them to I want them to be more experimental with mm -hmm. what's going on here. Everything here feels um, safe. everything that I've played so far feels very safe, which means it's probably well balanced. It's probably it works super well. It probably works well together. I want some, you know, you know me, I like a little bit of mess. Like, I want to feel like I can really, really twist the water out of this. I I haven't... So, you know when we play Dale of Merchants, mm -hmm. and the animals kind of feel like they're in the cards? Sure. I don't feel that the... I feel that the theme of each one of the, of the factions is there, but I don't feel the animal in those abilities. In the mechanics themselves. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. Um, that's the one thing that I'd like I to think, see more. I think if you looked at it more. closely, you can probably see some of those mechanics playing each other. Like, but I'd agree, most of the cards, most of the decks of cards, play in a similar genre. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I kind of want the genre to change mm -hmm. based off who I'm playing. Like, I want there to be... And part of that is, I mean, we only have five or six keywords. It is tight, it is safe, it is accessible. If that's... If that's what it is being, it does that really well. And yeah, if that's yes, what you're looking for in terms of in terms of something you can get to the table without having too much overhead or too much mess, uh, it does that. But I do want I do want a little bit more for after I've experienced that base. I'd also like to hear. I don't know. Oh man, I think you're kind of rubbing off on me a little bit with a little the bit theme. of flavor text. I would. Uh, the pairings of animals here are fascinating. Like, I really like this idea of, of a militaristic hares. And the artwork's cool. And then cool. The, the scientific chameleons. And then the, the sneaky, this uh, what is it, the black market yep. or, ma or magical or even, foxes. Or even your setting here. I mean, just this display here. Like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. And we don't have that. Mm -hmm. I'd love a little bit more theme, a just little a bit tiny more flavor, little bit. just a touch of what's going on. Here. Like one card that's all about like, hey, here's the faction, here's what mm -hmm. it does special, and this is what's unique about that faction. That I think as an introductory, now, I think it'd be fantastic. It does, it does in the rule book, you know, we have like the oh, chameleon. Exactly. The crazy mm -hmm. chameleons gain effects as they play multiple cards. The mm -hmm. crocodile, the mighty crocodile uses last word abilities and triggers them multiple times. So it does emphasize the type of factions that you're playing with and the way that they'll pair together. But I do find it interesting that they didn't use the back of the stronghold card, except if I'm missing a variant in the game. But the mm. back of the ba uh, the front uh, the stronghold should have been some type well, of. Well, with printing and stuff like that, sometimes sheets. Mm. You know, if you have a clean, consistent back. That's, I, that's another not... thing. This is like this is the first game from this publisher, yeah. right? Blue yeah, Star. I think I think it's a solid a solid title into, into. No, I think I think it's a solid you know, lineup. Dueling I, games. I would like it a bit messier in some ways, mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be. Hey, if um, if starting off the gate with something that's a little bit more every like everybody can come into, sure. and then once you're hooked into it. But I would like I would like more flavor text. And I yeah. would like to see the animals. In I just the like themes. the world, like the the artwork is amazing. It's the first thing that that kind of drew us into it. Yeah, wasn't this like this particular card the first thing that we saw? And we were like, mm -hmm. we went like, ooh, mm -hmm. that's What's cool. That? Well, I'll check it out. Yeah. So, so those are our thoughts. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, go to our podcast, go to the website, go to like everywhere Jim, where you ex expect too much to stuff. see a quack. Okay. Just, like pushes should be like uh -huh. a thing. Okay. Not 12 things. Make sure to subscribe. No. No. If you made okay. it to this point, make sure you have a good night's rest like we will have. We just drove uh, 16 hours back down to Kentucky so Jan and I could spend a weekend filming. So my push this evening, get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever you do, Remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. See you guys next time.